In this video, we will be considering a fairly simple decision tree here. We have an initial decision to make, either A or B, and then after that decision, a random event occurs. If we've chosen A after the random event, we either make profits of $100,000 or we have a decision to make. And in this lesser case scenario, we have to choose between two options, C and D. Then the other half of the structure here is if we've chosen B, again, a random event, and we either get the good outcome of 200 or we have a choice between two outcomes, E and F, E, where we actually lose money or F, where we make more money. Okay, so we wanna work our way through this decision tree going from right to left. So uh, the first thing we can do here is we have to look at C and D because we have to know if we choose A and um, we have the random outcome, we wanna calculate an expected value, but we cannot calculate the expected value until we know which of these two options we would be choosing. And obviously, given choice between $20,000 and 40,000, we choose 40. So forget about option C, we would never choose option C. Similarly, if we choose B and the random uh, event goes to the, the less happy event, then we would uh, never choose E. Why would we want to lose money when we could make $80,000? So now we know our sort of if then, if this happens, what we're going to do. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is we can figure out the expected value of A and B. Now, in order to be able to do that, of course, we need to know what the probabilities are. And in this particular case, um, it may not actually make affect the decision as to which one is preferable. We could say in game theory terms, uh, B dominates A. No matter what happens, B is better than A. But still, in general, we need to know um, probabilities in order to be able to do this. So let's say that with option A, the chance of a good outcome is 60%. The chance of the lesser op outcome is 40%. With uh, B, it's 80% and the 20% chance of the lesser outcome. So calculating our expected values, we're gonna have probability times the event plus probability times the outcome. So expected value of, of A is 0.6 times 100 plus 0.4 times 40. 0.6 times 100, obviously that equals 60, and 0.4 times 40, that equals 16. So expected profits of option A are $76,000. Expected value of option B, we have 200, let's see how, oh, so we have an 80% chance of $200,000 plus a 20% chance of $80. So 0.8 times 200 is $160,000 plus 0.2 times 80 is 16. So $176,000. Given the choice between $76,000 and 176, obviously we would choose option B. So if we look at expected value, option B is our winner, higher expected value. So if we are just looking at expected value, choose B. Now the other way we could look at the simple decision tree is to look at the worst case scenario. If things do not go well, what is the worst outcome that we might experience? With option A, the worst thing that we could realistically see is we could make $40,000. This $20,000 option would never happen because we would never choose it when we had the opportunity to choose 40 instead. Similarly, with B, we would never choose to lose $20,000. We'd always choose to make $80,000 instead. So the worst that could happen to us there is to make $80,000. So if we are risk averse and we want to avoid risk and we want to choose the option with the best worst case outcome, we would choose in this case, 
the same thing. We would choose option B. I hope this has been helpful.